Variables are a very useful thing in Rec Room. They can be used to store values of tons of different things, because that's what a variable is. And here, I'm going to show you how you can use them. So you've got one for almost every type of value you could want to store. You've got object, string, vector3, player, quaternion, color, ball, float, and integer. And these ones down here, AI, combatant, and destination room, those are all in beta. So use them at your own discretion. And so you can change them. How they work is you have an execute, and this sets the value of the variable to whatever this is inputted as. This currently says color red, but most of them, the list will say zero, players will be nothing, because it's invalid. But if I grab the button, and plug this in, it will change the player variable to the local player, which is me. And of course you have lists, lists of players, and you, yeah. Over here I have a demonstration to show how variables of the same name work. Because you don't just have to have one chip. So as you see, I have variable test. And currently it's empty. There's nothing in the string. But if I type something into the string, say, cheese. And I press the button, that updates it, which sets it to the input. So now it displays the output. And since this is also named variable test, it also says cheese. So I set the button, it sets the text to cheese. Now let's talk about synced. Synced in cloud. Synced variables mean that's the same for everyone on the server. Everyone in the room, it'll be the same. Cloud variables make it so that when you leave the room, the variable stays the same. You can also view your cloud variables in room settings, go to this room, click settings, and go to cloud data. You see, variable test, room is currently on sale. That's how it works. Pretty easy and pretty simple. That's variables.